Hello, everybody. Welcome to Altianus, uh, Tale of Petty Revenge. A game gifted to me a while back by a guy named Nicholas Rage. Uh, thanks, Nicholas. I, I, this is one of those, like, things in my Steam library that I never played and want to try out. So, here we are. I don't really know very much about this game. Oh, but it, uh, I know it has some side-scrolling elements. It seems like a bit of a shoot-em-up. Um, ship stuff is kind of accelerative. Oh, it definitely feels a little weird. Um, graphics are neat. It's kind of like an old school PC game, you know, from like way back in the day, I guess. Uh, I get a little combo meter. Why not? All right. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, was I meant to lose that? The ship felt really tough to control in a way. Um, okay. So yeah, I guess that just starts it off where we've crash landed and... Cool, and we're very sexy. Nice. Alright, so control-wise, I can jump, and that is about it. Uh, I, I saw this head thing, you know. Oh, dear. Um, come with me, like, in the ship flying section, too, so. Let's see here. What the hell? I, I guess I'm being chased by this walrus thing. Oh, dear, I'm running low on health, too, so. It's a very slow chase, I will say that. Not very uh, intense or anything, although I am down to a very small heart, so. Oh god, this is like in the fugitive. Oh, here we go. Alright. Oh. Cool. What a very weird game. The sound effects are um, interesting. Okay, I guess I gotta shoot that thing to keep going. Controls are weird. You only get, yeah, like that upwards blast in this one. Um, I, I suppose I'm Ultianus here, and, uh, she can, she's very floaty. Um, not in a terrible way, just her jumps seem a little odd, I guess. Um, these are also one of the very few video game red barrels you're seeing in the background that I guess don't explode when bullets pass by them. Hey! Oh dear. This seems very appropriate. I was just watching Futurama upstairs, but, um... Whoa. Okay, I guess that's a bat generator? Yeah, that works. Um... Yeah, this definitely seems like an old, like, PC game, like a Jazz Jackrabbit type of deal, or Commander Keen kind of thing. I mean, better graphics than Commander Keen, obviously, but, you know. It just, it has that, that effect to it. I kind of like it, actually. Yeah, this is bringing me back. Oh, cool, checkpoint. Oh dear. Um, I don't know if that's a poison floor. I also know that this game is subtitled A Tale of Petty Revenge, but I'm not really sure what the revenge is or why we're considering it petty. Uh, yeah, and there's a... Oh, anti-grav. Okay, there's maybe some Metroidvania elements to this, possibly? What is... Okay, yeah. It looks like anti-grav lets me um, kind of slow descent jump type of deal. Is that the deal? Duchess Nukem says Lord Cuddy. That's not a... Okay. <laughs> I like that. Duchess Nukem. Cool. Alright. I guess this is not poison. The life meter's a little strange, but... It does seem like there's like some sort of anti-gravity mucus in the background. Yeah, this is going well. Uh, there's an... Yeah. Alright, and a one-up. Perfect. Okay, we got ten lives. We have that much more... Uh life, I guess, or that, we have that much longer to play the game. Um, Ego Angle, I was gonna buy this game, but if it's Retroidvania, I'm not. I, I'll be honest with you, I really don't know if it's Metroidvania. I will say it did seem like it from what just happened. We do have kind of a, a swagger to us going, we'll say that. Very confident space explorer, I guess, despite being shot down in the first stage or whatever, but oh. Uh, let's get back to this so I can refill my health, right? No? Okay. Oh, dear. Hey. Hi. Okay, this is... Alright, I see. So, you, we use anti-gravity to, I guess, theoretically make this jump, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Can't really even tell. I think I'm jumping higher, too. So, it's not a Metroidvania says uh, CPU basic. Mega Structure says hello. How are you? Yeah. Whoops. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, I guess 
really, that's not so Metroidvania y if you're just off the beaten path like once to get an item. Maybe if you explore around, you get one ups, that kind of deal, but it's sort of like, you know, slightly non linear side scroller type of thing. Maybe that's a genre, right? I'm also being told to go down for some reason or another. Maybe I destroyed the uh, indication suppression orb on the right there. That would kind of make sense. Whoa, all right. This is almost a completely different world here. All right, so this is the mushroom plant underground session. Whoa, what the? And we got the, of course, the little, the lip dragon slug. I've read about these. Very awkward angle that Altonius has decided to shoot at. Let's see here. Whoa, hey now. Oh, I died. Oh, that's, that's not fair. Well, I mean, it's fair, but you know. All right, that's fine, just 11 lives to go. Oh, and I have a downward angle shot, which helps out a lot. Cool. All right. Very good. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I can I can deal with this. Um, get another checkpoint, and yeah, this is all working out. We'll destroy the structure of whatever was above us. That's fine. Totally cool. I bet that'll have world-changing repercussions in the, with the whole destructible environment type of deal. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess I need a key. So, um, I'm liking it. We'll call <laughs> we'll call this game Tasty Tuesday. It works perfectly, even though it's Friday. Justin Bailey times ten thousand says CCC Punk. Yeah, okay, I'm down with that. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit Metroid, but just not in the Metroidvania sense, I guess. All right, it's working out. They're and they're really really generous with the one-ups. I don't know if I picked an easy difficulty by accident or what have you, but yeah. There we go. <laughs> no, that's just cute. I'm sorry. I really like these little frog guys. <laughs> He's coming in. Um, Uh-oh. Music's changing. It's boss. Okay. So it's a plant type of boss. It's not so... What do you got attack-wise? Music's pretty good. Yeah, I'm down with the Altonio oh dear. <laughs> Altonio dear, as it's called. Yikes, hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see that part. Oh, okay. And if you die, you gotta do this all again. Got it. So when he yells, what happens? Is that what summons the thing from under me? Wait, how do you dodge? I guess I gotta be close to dodge that and then avoid the tentacles right afterwards? Oh, hey. Oh, look at that. Okay. So he spawns little guys too. Thanks. Um... Yikes. Okay. That was a very close call there. Oh dear. Oh, I see. It's a pattern, totally. And then what? Like another. Yeah, then the guy comes out to shoot him. Then he's going to start the puke thing next. Got it. And then when the, after the puke. Ah! Oh, Alright. It's okay. Now I got the pattern. So, wait for the wait for the plant vomit. Should probably get back here. It's a very nice eight bit kind of yell there too. Yeah, I'm digging it. Get close here. I'll. Oh, all right, I already forgot that part. So we'll just let him do that. Ugh, I thought I could get a hit in. Oh my God! I. S all right. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Let's try this one more time. see here I, wow all right I suck tonight I'm going on very little sleep so cool all right so he roars again I'm gonna shoot up then he's gonna eventually do the puke move let's jump out of the way then we, all right yeah one two you got four tentacles Followed by the spawning plant guy, and then, okay, cool, so we got this. I'm saying that, but, you know. Well, I guess with only three hits, these bosses can't get super complicated. Jump out of the way. Okay. Yep. Yeah. No big deal. I only lost, a, I mean, a couple of lives. Oh, he's getting a little tougher. He's spawned two of them. So I gotta watch out for any sort of change-up he might do. Like, maybe the puke will come from a different place or something, or... No, probably not. Or he might start doing the um, 
stocks during the puke phase, maybe. Switch it up a little, you know? There's ways you could go for it. Okay. So I think this this is the loop that he dies on, right? And thanks, Ego Angel, for posting a link to this game in the stream if you are interested. All right. Cool. And I totally missed that one up. All right, so that yeah, this is not like a Metroidvania at all, really. It's it's, it's just like a side scroller with like little extra stuff around it. Yeah, I um I guess I missed the intro story because I'm still not. Hey, watch it. Aware of how this is a tale of petty revenge, or who's being revenged upon, or where the revengeance is coming from, etc., etc., etc. Nice little nodules, though. Whatever those things are. Let's see. Apparently, this game only costs uh, seven seventy nine in Canada, according to the Cool Ghost, because of weird currency conversion stuff. Uh oh. Nice reflection effect. I have the feeling my character is not a big water fan, but then again, I don't see what else I could do here, so... Okay. That's not too bad. Uh-oh, wait. Shit. Oh, dear. Huh, I don't know quite how I was supposed to handle that. Maybe the idea is you stay out of the water for a bit. Or not. Oh, um... Let's see here. Hey, it's Combat Lobster. Uh, this is a guy who just finished um, a really cool Volgar the Viking Let's Play, actually. Ooh, all right, so yikes. Um, I should go back and finish that game sometime. Yikes! All right, so this part's pretty tricky. All right, there we go. I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, okay, not a bad game. It's uh, oh shit. Ah. Let's see here. Try another route, says Runch. I don't know if I... Ha oh, I could go left, actually, yeah. Maybe there's something I'm supposed to do here. Oh, it's, oh dear. Well, at least it wasn't so bad that time around, I guess. Alright, so the insta-kill dragon is... Still following me, though, right? Or Oh, Runch! Tried another route. This is what happens when you listen to people in the stream chat. Um, oh, you know that's funny? Yeah, I do remember that story. Galactic Hero Serena S has been trolled on Spacebook. Uh, we have to punish the Spacebook troll in question. That is actually the story of the game. I totally forgot about that. So this is a tale of petty revenge, see? I don't know how getting shot down on the planet, etc. went to it, but you know. Alright, so we're Serena S. Got it. Cool. Now that we've filled that out, I wonder if I could shoot this thing. Or, whoa, watch out. Or if I, uh, if I can't shoot it, I can at least, whoa dear, avoid it to enough. How, how many times do I have to avoid this stupid thing? Okay. And then where's it gonna come from? Yikes. Okay, that was a little too close there. I'm running low on health, but, oh dear. Hey, what? Come on! That was on land! Ugh. Let's see here. Yikes. Alright. Uh, how, do, ooh, how do I do this here? Let's see. Um, oh. Yikes. Okay. This is, this is kind of an annoying section, to be frank, but... There we go. Now I'm through, right? There's no way that stupid dragon thing could get me. Oh, do I have to do this again? Alright, come on. Let's get it over with. Can I shoot it, maybe? Maybe you can kill it? I have a bad feeling it's one of those just hazards you have to go through. Fortunately, since it's insta-kill, too, I don't want to fuck around with... Oh, no! Oh! Two hits and it's gone? That's it? I could have saved my... Oh, there's... Respawning, of course. All right, we're through that at least. Whoa, watch out, uh, slug, fish, dog. <laughs> I kind of like that one. All right, I do like the creature design in this. It's pretty cool. What else do we got here? I uh, can't go up there. I got anti-gravity last stage. I would think I'd get another one here, another item here. 
But no, it's the boss instead. I damage this thing somehow, but I'm not 100%. Oh, the eyes, right? Is that how? Yeah. Alright, so he makes rocks drop from the ceiling. Oh, and he's got uh, one of those shockwave type of... Everybody's got a shockwave attack nowadays. That's just sort of par for the boss course, as it were. Alright. Creative boss... That's a creative creature design all around, right? Oh, it's that dude from Mario 2. Oh, yeah! What's his name? Claw Gore or some crap? Who knows? Um, yeah, I'm digging it. There we are. Alright, and then yeah, tell the the rock the rocks telegraph from the ceiling a little bit. That's not so bad. Yeah, I could deal with this guy. No big deal. Said that about the last boss too though, and it took me a little, it took me a few lives. Ooh there. There we go. So, he's getting a little faster, I noticed. Watch it. Okay. Let's see here. So, he's just gonna drop another little crab henchman dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's just getting faster is all. No big deal. You're nothing, crab boss. Oh, uh, what? Oh! Jeez. Clog whip, said somebody is the name of it. Ah, doing terrible. That's what happens when you're when you when you when you go to a different planet on very little sleep. Um, there we go. Let's get away from him for the claw attack. There we go. Shoot his friend. Shoot him a bunch. What? Okay. Jump over this stupid shockwave thing. Watch out for the rock. Get over. I was- I so cleared that. No way. Ay. Alright. This time around, I got him. You know, I don't know what- why you would have eyes that just come straight out of your head like that. That was clearly an evolution miss, as it were. I like to think that there's someone who kind of, like, looks at, like, evolutionary things like that and, like, judges them. Kind of like Joan Rivers with fashion. Miss. Alright. This boss, probably, I can try to stand one more hit, so let's stay away from him. Yeah, do your dumb little claw move. Probably might do it again, so... Yikes, say now. Look at that, your stupid spawn doesn't even know when to change direction. Oh dear, watch out for the rock. Okay, uh... I, yeah, that wasn't fair, I couldn't get out of the way in time of that. Maybe I can jump out of the way next time. I find if you tell the game, by the way, it's not fair. Mother. Hey, New York Ripper, is this the game you sent me? You can call me the Beef, of course. Thank you. I, I thank you at the beginning of this. Yeah, I think you're Nicholas Rage on Steam. Everybody, uh, friend that guy on Steam if that's what you do on Steam. You crazy kids today in your digital software distribution stuff. Oh dear. In my day, we just—I don't know. We didn't play games. We didn't have them. It was, it was all tiddlywinks and um, Monopoly. Um. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, this isn't this isn't too bad, right? Hey, watch it. Okay, I think I can. I thought I could have killed this guy last time, but. Right. Well, that's right. And now now he's gone finally with three lives to go. There we go. Hooray. Then the dragon kill me, kill me again. Alright, so that's stage two down. And then we go all the way to this. Oh, oh, hey, alright. Dinosaur stuff. Who doesn't like that? What the f... Okay. Yeah, I can do this. Perfect. Awesome. Get Altonius a sports bra next time, and this will all work out great. There we go. Yeah. This is... Ooh. Hey, now. Oh, yeah, Yoshi, someone's calling this dude. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Let's go. A rail shooter, says Duel. Um, I guess it is, right? 
This is actually Jurassic World pre-footage we're seeing. Oh, and there's some Avatar ladies riding the purple dinosaurs. Yeah, alright. There's a lot of pop culture in this game. It's pretty good. And checkpoint reached. Perfect. I'm only, only down to two lives, so... Oh, dear. Make that three. Yep. This is exciting, if, if anything. Alright, so we got... A lot of purple dudes, uh, good color contrast. Yeah, I'll pretend I know what the hell I'm talking about in terms of art. Got a lot of blues and purples on top to greens and browns. That's the way to go. Totally. Hey. What are they throwing at me? Like, farmer hats? What's going on here? Oh. Uh. Oh, best Contra, someone says. No, you know why I know it's not Contra is I have to press the shoot button. Like, tap it multiple times. That, that wouldn't fly in Contra. Let's see here. Hi, Wang. This game's got some pretty good visuals. I, I totally agree, actually. One ridiculous thing, though, is if you do windowed, um, it, like, goes to this ridiculously small resolution. I think it's supposed to... Em yeah, I think it's supposed to emulate, like, these old PC games, but I don't know what those... Well, I guess, like, 320 by 200. I feel like, yeah, I'm playing this now at 960 by 600 resolution. So, yeah, it is supposed to be that whole deal. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, you know what, too? Even the bottom, like, HUD there, I could swear, like, old games used to do that, like, weird, like, scanline-ish kind of deal. That's fun, yeah. I'm down. A little bit of the old Jazz Jackrabbit, as they call it, you know? Okay. And let's see. Reach another checkpoint. Oh dear. Watch out. Yeah, okay. This is not going too bad. Yikes. Uh, I really want another item. I feel like I could really use an upgrade. Also, she's really not holding that gun very well. It's just. Oh, here we go. Boss. This is a little metal sl sluggy, this boss, I bet, right? Of course, they have red barrels. It's just like a thing. This is like a video game thing at Acme's Red Barrel Corporation factory. Why is there another person on the thing there? How did that... Alright, let's do this a little smarter than I usually do. Okay. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Hey. Okay, perfect. There we go. So, one third through this crap. Alright, well that's kind of... Whatever. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, this is a pretty... A pretty good boss or whatever, you know? Down with... Ay, Jesus. There we go. It's just a little hard to duck under the thing there. Okay, so this time we'll, we'll watch out for the stupid red barrels everywhere. It's no big deal. Oh dear. Okay, I see. These are discs. Got it. So I'm invading their little culture, personal space here. Now, why did they have the plasma cannon on a wooden ship? How do I... Oh, you. Okay. Oh dear. Alright, so there, this battleship thing's got to be done now, right? I mean... Let's... There we go. Got it. And done. Patashi, this game has rock and music. Yeah, actually it does. I'm down with the music here. And that's stage one, two, three, three done. That takes me all the way around to this purple mountain area. Oh. ah, It is like Yoshi that way, though. Well, that was weird. Alright, so this must be the resident fire level. Got it. Whoa, what the hell is with the slinky dude in the back? Yay. Alright. Not too bad. Oh, this is the industrial lava section. This is where they create more magma for the world planet. Alright, that works. Hey, I... Cool. I don't know why there's little creature factories every so often, but that's cool. Oh, the smoke hurts, says Duel. That's why. Got it. I guess that's some sort of public service announcement or something. Thanks for nothing, Altonios of Ta Tale of Petty Revenge. <laughs> no. 
Nice. I mean, that is awkward. Okay, well, I think that's a good uh, preview for now. So uh, thanks for thanks for gifting me that game, Nicholas Rage. Um, <laughs> take easy, everybody. I'll try another time. Oh, maybe this story is here. Ah, oh, well.